welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is happy and healthy and doing good you know it's so cold it's what january 31st yeah we're heading into february and it's still so cold and uh in today's video i'm just going to be going to the japanese convenience store to pay some bills so in japan you can actually pay your utility bills at the convenience stores here so you don't have to go to the bank or go to the post office uh, like in Jamaica or you know any of those places to pay your bills you can actually just go to the convenience stores and pay your bills so that's what uh, Adam and I will be doing today he is pumping my bicycle hey handyman <laughs> Yeah, so we're getting ready to go and I'm freezing. I have no outside clothes. I'm actually in skirt and it's so cold. So yeah, these are my bills. Let me not show my address. All right, I don't want to stalkers. Okay, so yeah, uh, basically we, we do three bills, three utility bills, the regular light, gas and water bill. Uh, the gas only operates our AC for the heat and so on. And everything else in the house is really electricity and water and I must tell you the bills here in Japan are super expensive I can't even we can't get away from high bills oh the yellow tags are okay it's the persons that came to look at the bicycles that put this up in here I see Ah, uh, yeah we went off off topic so yeah the bills in japan are are, are are crazy expensive cost of living is crazy expensive but do tell me in the comments below if you want to see a video where i actually discuss the cost of living in japan and stuff like that i don't know if you're interested if you are give this video a thumbs up or comment um under the video so that i can know and i could do that for you but our our water bill is ridiculously high and I mean I don't think we use that much water anyway or of all the three bills I think we use water the most maybe but our stove we cook so often and our stove is powered by electricity and our electric bill is not high so I don't know the gas it's ridiculous so yeah we're heading to the convenience store right now and I'll just show you in and around the two convenience store that we will be uh, passing by so that's 7-eleven and family mart so yeah let's hop on these bikes and find our way to the convenience store all right a few minutes later wait just one minute before we go into the video i have to shout out my natsnificent fam who are forever leaving comments under my video thank you so much to everybody who have been watching and those who have subscribed and if you are watching this and you have not yet subscribed just give this video a little watch out and and and, and just see if you like it and see if you want to stick around and then I just press the red button all right so let's See who is getting natsnified. Natsnified is that the word that we've been using, guys? All right, I have my paper. And oh, I tore it. It's torn. All right, and this person is Latoya Tolla. Big up yourself, Latiflex. All right, she is the person I buy my Jamaican goods from. And the comment was, thanks for the feature, hon. I know you appreciate your monthly supplies, but this video really warms my heart. To see how it enhances life for you guys in Japan is my pleasure. I will do my best to continue bringing your monthly smiles. Thank you for your continued support. Anytime, girl, you make my life so easy. I have access to Jamaican food. And this comment was actually left on the video that I did regarding how I get Jamaican food in Japan. If you have not seen that video yet, I will link it right here for you to catch up on. Okay, now back to the video. Pay some bills. 
Guys, listen. Our light bill is like eight thousand dollars this month, and I, I can't. All right, that's expensive. It's just two of us. We have no children. Why eight thousand dollars? Anyway, that's light bill. Our water bill. Our water bill is nine thousand three hundred dollars. Why? All right, next. Our guest bill, this is the star of the show. All right, our guest bill is $12,800. You must be kidding me. And as I said before, I don't know why these bills keep so high because we, we really conserve or conserve. What's the word? Conserve. So I don't know. But let's go pay some bills. okay so we are inside the convenience store at this point and as you can see they have various different kinds of products i am in the drink aisle i'm seeing wine here they have a little snack here and there they also have pastry and one very popular thing is that they have a magazine section and many Japanese people often stand here in the convenience stores and just read magazines and that's strange to me because why not just buy them and go home they also sell toiletries so your toothbrushes toothpaste floss mouthwash shaving cream Listerine all that stuff are sold in the convenience store as well they have a wide variety of drinks that you can buy also similar to what you can get in the vending machines but of course the convenience store is open 24 hours as i said before they have beers and all of those kinds of drinks they also have like your cup noodles like instant ramen cup noodles as you know japanese famous for ramen and all that stuff they also have various types of soups and just ready to go meals that you just either add water or you just either heat them up they also sell fried food as you can see there if you want a hot dog all right and basically i'm just here at the cashier paying the bills so i have to slow down this clip because it went by a little fast so bear with that i'm just handing the cashier the bills and she is separating the part that has my address on it should in case i want to you know should in case i'm doing business that requires proof of address i would have that piece of paper to actually give and do my business and what she will basically do is scan the the bills she will scan the bills and the cost will come up on the screen so as you can see she's scanning the bills right now the cost of all the bills combined will come up on the screen i will just press the ok button as you can see my bill is like thirty thousand almost thirty one thousand dollars i press ok and then i just hand her the cash they also sell pre-packaged meals in the convenience store, hot or cold, that you can buy. And if it's cold, you, they offer to heat it for you. Okay, so our bills are paid. And normally, we just get back these little slips with a stamp here. Am I displaying any personal information? I don't know, but let me just hide. This so, is all personal information. Well, I guess so. Should I be showing this? It's okay. So we just get a stamp here to show that we've paid and papers with proof of address and so on. A paper that we could use to show proof of address if we're doing any business that requires us to show proof of address. So I'm just going to head on over to Family Mart. It's a one minute ride from 7-Eleven. So it's right down there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, so not too far, not too far away. So I'm just going to ride there and show you what inside Family Mart looks like. All right, guys, so at different areas um, in Japan, like at the train stations and at the convenience store, they have post boxes where you can just come and drop your mail inside here and it will be posted to wherever you want it to go so you don't have to actually go into the post office to send mail around japan 
and this is really our little city our little town it's not a city it's a town so yeah that's Yokodo that's our favorite drugstore and I mean it's drugstore so like pharmacy but you can also get supermarket items in there as well there there's a car mart a little further and McDonald's and all the things down there okay guys once again we're in another convenience store this is family mart and it's basically the same setup as in 7-eleven and basically every other convenience store in japan magazines drink unlimited uh hot beverages cold beverages food snacks noodles all of that stuff you can also pay your bills at family mart it's just that 7-eleven is closer um to us uh, we have to pass 7-eleven before we get to family mart so we just stop there so yeah basically drinks everything spaghetti hot and cold and the convenience stores are open 24 hours a day all day every day even on holidays Alright guys, so this is what a typical vending machine looks like. This is a 100 yen vending machine. So all the drink in this machine is 100 yen. This is 100 yen. Yes. And as you can see, it, it varies. So we have cold drinks, cold, and then we have the coffees and the teas, which are hot drinks. So it's labeled hot. For you and we have like green tea some form of tea milk tea I like this tea you have corn soup and all of that stuff honey tea this should be good and stuff so your coffees and then drink you have like um body boosters like pokari sweat and those kind of things I've had this and this before lemon water stuff like that up here just the same we have water here and a lot of things here so to buy we just decide which drink you want of course but you put your money Ooh. static shock these are the coins that the machine um, allows 500 yen 100 dollar 50 yen and 10 it doesn't accept the 5 um, yen coin so to buy a drink and oh it has bills right here but we have a coin so we're just going to put it in all the areas on it lights up and then you just basically seal it with juice you want I want a water you press it and it drops down here and you got your water if it is that you had bills or more money in here change would come down here and you take it and you go about your business and they of course have a trash can here I don't know who stays at the vending machine and drink but if you have trash you can put it there they have cans and bottles here all right and there is another one right beside it so as i say you often see this and this just has a different variety of drink of course the coffee is down here and different kinds of um energy boosters drinks more drinks and so on and this one it says 100 yen but i'm seeing different prices here like for 120 so i guess whosoever <laughs> the owner of this machine is just doing their own thing and of course a trash can there and they also have a camera that is recording um, persons who stop by the vending machine so they can track trouble so guys we're going to head to another vending machine that is at the station I know I look crazy it's nighttime so uh, this vending machine is that like two minutes outside of my apartment right so we can just run but there is also about three more vending machines at the station so I'm going to head there to show you what those vending machines are like so let's go alright guys so we're at the station and this is another vending machine and as you can see the prices for stuff are a bit different here we have for as low as 110 we have 160 210 one, oh, for as low as 100 actually 130 150 and so on but this monster 250 i saw it at the previous 100 dollar vending machine yeah 210 but it's for 100 at the other one so you have to be you know you have to know which vending machine you're buying what from so as not to be robbed of your money and these are the different kinds of juices they have they have red bull energy juice teas more teas 
and juice so yeah and then right beside it you have another vending machine which also varies in cost you have one 140 150 120 120 is the lowest on this machine but again hot beverages coffees and so on teas uh, drinks and all of that so you just have to uh, know what you want oh this part right here I don't think every vending machine has has this one so this um, the Suka IC card is a Japan um, train card and you can also use your train card to buy stuff so you just beep it and then it lights up just the same process as if you were to use actual money so yeah this is just a few of the types of vending machine that Japan has and I tell you they're strategically placed because this is exactly next to the station that's the station right there and you can have a quick drink and they also have a phone so if, if it is that you if it is that you run out of phone battery or whatever you need to call somebody there is a phone booth in Japan too right here right next to the vending machines and you can see this outside of every station and a train just went by uh, sorry for the noise this right here this open lot is actually a smoking area so in Japan smoking is a thing they do smoke a lot here actually and normally an open area like this is available for those people who want to do the things all right so yeah that's basically it for the vending machine guys bear with me for this very very distorted clip but i just wanted to show you that they also have cigarette vending machines in japan so this is a vending machine that is exclusively for the smokers as you can see the price is um they range from as low as 400 and something to about 600 and something if i am seeing correctly so yeah they also have cigarette vending machines fyi and of course besides those cigarette vending machines are also other vending machines and then right along that road that you i'm pointing towards is another vending machine there is always a vending machine they're they're really just strategically placed all around the place so you walk for two minutes or every two minutes every five minutes you are exactly in access to a vending machine basically yeah guys so i we just got back we just got back oh this breeze we just got back from the convenience store i hope you can hear me because the breeze is really doing much right now yeah so we just got back from the convenience store paying the bills showing you guys around in the japanese convenience store what it's like and um i really hope that you enjoyed this video it's super cold I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and of course share with your friends comment in the comment below let's be friends all right let's chat let's chat about Japan and if you have any video suggestions please leave them in the comment below because I'm your girl. I want to do the content that you want to see, so let me know. And yeah, that was basically it. If you have any questions, as I said, ask them in the comments. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, my hair. My hair is crazy. What am I gonna tell these people? Wow, this breeze though. But that part though. Ay -ya. Guys, this is the face you make when you realize you were filming in the parking lot, acting crazy, and somebody was sitting in their car looking at me being crazy. The things I'm doing for you guys. I've now acted a fool, and this woman now knows that a mad black person lives on this apartment complex <laughs> oh my god but anyway bye for real <laughs>
I was sad.